sorry. Oh, we just missed our turn. Oh, no, no. Don't roll, don't roll forward, sorry. Don't roll forward the cars there, yeah? guys welcome back to clearview driving my name is Ammon and today I'm doing a mock test with my bus. now you have done a driving test before so you know what's involved yeah so today we're up in Pinner and we're gonna do a test uh, from here so you're familiar with all the roads around the area yeah pretty much okay and you have got another test coming up in a few months at the minute yeah okay so um, you know how a test is gonna be conducted Do you want me to tell you a little bit about how today will go yeah sure yeah so throughout the drive follow the road ahead <laughs> whenever i need you to turn i will tell you in plenty of time if i don't say anything keep going straight if you're not sure where you're going you can always ask okay, okay? all right so i'm going to get you to carry out one maneuver and we may also carry out the emergency <clears throat> stop similar to everything you've already been practicing okay, okay? any questions before we get started no no you're good to go yeah okay Okay, so before we get started, I'm going to ask you a question about your vehicle. Can you tell me, how would you switch from your dipped headlights to your full beam headlights and how would you know they're on? So dipped headlights, you will operate the switch mm -hmm. and to change, was it dipped to, to full. full beam, you, <clears throat> you would uh, operate the switch, okay. so it would be... You can just tell me, you don't yeah. need to do it, don't worry. Yeah, so it would be here, the dipped headlights, and then I think to change the full beam, you pull it forward. You pull it forward? Yeah. Okay, and how would you know it's on? <clears throat> there'll be like a, a, there'll be a, a light illuminating on the, the dashboard. Do you know what light it would be? Blue. Okay. Okay, so for anyone that's new to the channel, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, and select that bell icon so that you get a notification every time that I upload. Now I'm ready for you to start the engine. So when you're ready, we're yeah. gonna head out of here and then drive straight down this road, okay? okay? So it's like a right turn, it looks like a straight. The vehicle approaching from the left did have to brake for us, so Mafus should have waited for them to pass and then continued. At the start of a driving test, you're bound to be nervous, so always be sure to look more carefully before emerging. If you could pull over and park up on the left somewhere safe. Just come on the yellow line will be fine just because of the truck there. That's fine, thank you. And drive off whenever you're ready. While waiting to move off at this position, Mefus gets marked down for moving off safety. He did check his blind spots, but now he's waiting for oncoming traffic and he's turned off his signal. So as he moves off, he's got no right signal and he does not look towards the road again.
Now Fus gets a serious fault with judgment on meeting as he tries to fit into the small gap over on the left, causing a bit of an awkward situation for traffic along this road. It would have been better to give way in the middle of the road alongside this silver car. You have to lift for us. Go to neutral. Lift from the reverse. No, no, one second. You're going to do this. Up, left, down. With meeting situations, when giving way to oncoming traffic, you don't always need to move over to the left-hand side of the road to give way. In this case, the space is on the right-hand side of the road, so it's safer to stop in the middle of the road and allow space for oncoming traffic to go round to your right. You can see the traffic behind us waited in the middle rather than following us through that narrow space. At the end of this road, turn right please. As we get to this T-junction, Mafus goes over the giveaway line and then looks towards the right so he gets marked down with response to road marking. Always make sure to look right, left, right at least once before you go over the giveaway line. When we get to the roundabout, I'd like you to turn left, it's the first exit. Second road on your right. This is the first in here. Take the second road. <coughs> is it just over there? Yeah, just the one. Yeah. Okay. As we're getting closer to the right turn, Mafus does swing towards the left as we're approaching this right turn. Had somebody been in that left-hand lane, this would have been an issue. Turn left, please. The entrance of this road is fairly narrow and there's a vehicle on the other side. It would be a good idea to switch down to first gear for junctions like this. Mafus turns into this road too fast and swings over the centre line with the red car there.
As the red car was actually making a left turn, this did not go down as a serious fault as they were not near the centre line. Pull over and park up on the left, just behind the black car, but leave enough space to move away. So get fairly close, but leave about a car's length, okay? So just keep, keep on going forward. That's great there, thank you. And drive off whenever you're ready. the end turn left. While waiting to move off at this position, Mafus is still waiting in second gear. Now moving off in second gear is generally much harder as it doesn't have as much power as first gear. But moving off uphill in second gear is near enough impossible. Now Mafus does manage to move up this hill in second gear, but as we went a bit further, the engine does switch off. Now switching off at this point wasn't a major concern, but then he started to roll back and there was traffic behind us, so I had to put the brakes on, so this went down as a dangerous mistake. Sorry, just put the brake on there. And let the traffic lights turn right, please. Approaching the traffic lights ahead, we're approaching quite slowly and the light starts changing. Mafus does start braking as if he's going to stop but then continues through. He gets marked down serious for this. The vehicle in the distance in front has the reverse lights on and Mafus positions behind them as if we're in traffic, but the car in front is actually parked. We should have positioned closer to the centre line in order to get around them. Although there isn't space to get around straight away, this position will show cars in front and behind that we're waiting to go around the parked vehicles. Right, there are two roads that are very close together. I'd like you to take the second road on your right. I'd like 
take you to take the next road on your left, please turn left. When making left and right turns from the main road, my foos tends to steer too slowly and ends up doing a really wide turn and gets a serious mistake on this junction. You either want to steer quicker with your hands or approach junctions in first gear. And if you could pull it and park up on the left, just in this space here will be fine. Don't worry about the driveways on this one. Not too close, yeah? Fine there, thank you. Okay, my, okay, right. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, my piece, what I'd like you to do now, using the vehicle in front, I'd like you to demonstrate how you would carry out the parallel park exercise. Okay. To so start alongside <coughs> the vehicle in the road, then reverse back and finish within two car lengths. Try not to touch the um, try not to go up onto the driveway. Think of that as a raised curb. Okay. Okay. Before starting to reverse, always be sure to check from your right blind spot all the way around towards your left. Mafus does look towards the left towards the pavement but does not check towards the road. The front of the car is starting to swing in towards the right so this is a major concern as this area is not covered in the right hand wing mirror. At this point, Mefus does look over towards the right blind spot, but by this point, the car is already passing us and we're halfway through the maneuver. He does maintain really good clutch control while carrying out this exercise and does park the car nicely within the two car lengths. Thank you. Okay, and drive up when you're ready. Park up on the left somewhere safe along here. So we're going to start the independent driving now. I'm going to give you a series of directions to follow. Okay. As we go forward, I'd like you to take the first <coughs> road on your right, and then follow signs to northward. Okay. So you know what you're doing. Yeah. Okay. If you forget, you can ask. So first, first word on the right, and then yeah. follow North signs word. to Northwood. Yeah. yeah.
Once on this new road, Mefus does get marked down for progress appropriate speed. We're currently on a 30 miles per hour road. It is uphill, but we're driving too slowly. You need to press firmer on the accelerator in order to get the speed up quicker. You should see the signs soon. Leading up to the end of this road, due to the traffic ahead, we couldn't see the signs, so I did remind Mefus that the signs will be visible soon. If they're completely hidden, the examiner will tell you which direction you need to go. As we get to the giveaway line at the end of this road, Mefus continues to roll over the giveaway line with the traffic on the main road still flowing. He should have stopped completely and looked up and down the road and only crossed this line when the road is clear. I had to press the brake and this went down as a dangerous mistake. Don't roll, don't roll forward, sorry. Don't roll forward the car's there, yeah? You can see in this clip that the black car is having to move further away from us and closer to the centre of the road in order to avoid hitting into our car. Don't roll, don't roll forward, sorry. Don't roll forward the car's there, yeah? Don't roll, don't roll forward, sorry. Don't roll forward the car's there, yeah? Go halfway. Yeah, go out halfway. She's waiting for you. And then after that black car, you can turn in. Go on. Turn it all the way. signs towards Pinna. Turning left at this roundabout, Mafus does get a serious fault with junction observation. There was a black car to the right, but there was also a vehicle on the roundabout who was blocking the black car. By the time we reached the roundabout, the gap was no longer safe. No, stop there. Mefus just needs to take a bit more care when it comes to looking at junctions, making sure that he's not going to affect the traffic on the main road. So you're still following Pina, okay? Yeah. <clears throat> so right turn from here. When observing at mini roundabouts, always look ahead because that's the first place you can see. Then as you get closer, look towards the right and if you notice nobody is coming towards you, you need to enter straight away. This is normal from now on. Oh, we've just missed our turn. Oh, no, no. Carry on driving. Oh. We're not parking. We were meant to just, oh, just, just, just turn. drive. Yeah. Oh, we've just missed our turn. Oh, no, no. Carry on driving. Oh. We're not parking. We were meant to just, oh, just, just, just turn. drive. Yeah. Turn left into that road now. Could 
just pull it and park up on the left hand side in this space here will be fine, okay? Just roll forward slightly further and that would be great there, thank you. You can secure the car. And just switch off the engine as well. Alright, that is the end of your test. Just give me a few minutes, okay? Alright, so... How was your test for you today? I was quite nervous. Yeah. And I, I knew I made like a couple mistakes. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know to be honest. Okay, so as yeah, you know, it wouldn't yeah. be a pass. There was yeah, a few things going on. So I'm going to be talking through the mistakes as they happen and then we'll discuss what we uh, will do going forward. So the first mistake that stuck out for me is, you know, on that road where the test centre is, yeah. When you go up that road, mm -hmm. there's that section where there's always meetings after that yeah. point. What happened at that point? Because I I was waiting for cars yeah. when they were waiting for me yeah. to to um, drive by and that's what caused the issue out. So at that particular point there was you were going through and there was like a little gap on the left, wasn't there? Yeah. And there was a car coming towards you and you were trying to go into that gap. Mm. And the car in front, he wanted to come closer to you. He wanted to go into the big gap on the right. Oh. So you both went into that space and now you've kind of dove in yeah. and then you're just there. <laughs> yeah, because I, I tried to stop to wait for him to go past. True. Yeah. But then how did you, do you have to think about how you're going to exit from there as well? Did yeah, because he wasn't, like, it was in an angle. So. Yeah, so then you had to reverse, didn't you? Mm. And now we've had like five, six cars all yeah. squeezing past us. Don't get yourself in those predicaments. Mm. So instead of just thinking, wait, I need to go into that space, you could think, well, there's a big space here for him, yeah. or there's a little space there for me, which one would be easier? Mm. Yeah? So you gotta think a bit like that. Try not to get stuck in tiny little gaps like that. It was just awkward. Um, then we went up to the small roads the, the meeting situations and stuff, you were actually all right on those. We were a bit close to some of the cars at some points, but it was never major. But I would just be a bit more careful. If you yeah. know you're going through a tight space. Just wait. Wait, yeah. or just take it a bit slower. Because yeah. there were points where we needed to go, but just take it slower to go. Maybe select first gear rather than just kind of yeah. carrying on in second. You know when we got to that really steep gradient by Northwood Hills? Yeah. Okay. Now, I don't know how. But you managed to move in second gear up that hill. It was very steep. You managed to move, which was good. But yeah, well, obviously, obviously it stalled. use first gear and it yeah. stalled. Now, you got a major fault there at that point, mm. but it wasn't the fact that you stalled. It was the fact that you're rolling back. back yeah. Because now as you've stalled, had you grabbed the brake and clutch, I would not yeah. have to take control. Mm. You know why I did have to press the brake there? Because because the car's behind. Car's behind and there was a cyclist in blue right over here. She was just oh. right on your tail. So you needed to control that, mm. okay? Then as we went forward, there was that traffic light. Oh my God, the traffic light. Oh, the one that went to orange and then yeah. went past. You saw I was, that. I was thinking, should I stop? And I decided to go. You, you saw the light uh. changing and we're slow and you started braking and I thought, okay, it's gonna stop, fine. Mm. And then you're braking, braking and then you've just gone and I, I did not even expect you to go through that. That was, that was silly. Yeah, go with your first gut instinct. Yeah. I could see you were braking. Just stop. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Now let's talk about your parallel park. How was that? Did it hit the curb? Okay, you parallel parked very well. Yeah. But your front tire was starting to climb up a little bit because you didn't, You once you've done your maneuver, just stop. Don't keep moving. Yeah. But there was a serious fault in that maneuver. I don't even know what it was. Okay, see. So uh, did, did it actually hit the curb? I don't... The front tyre was starting to climb up a little bit. Oh. But you were already done with the manoeuvre by that point. You'd done the exercise perfectly. Mm. But then you kept going and then the front was going like this. Oh yeah, it was when I tried to maybe make it straight or something. Yeah, you were trying yeah. to straighten it, but you, then you went a bit too far. Mm. But the series um, in that manoeuvre was your observation. Oh yeah, I always... So at the very beginning of that manoeuvre, you are in the road, you went, yeah, looking in my blind spot, looking in my mirror, mirror, and then you started reversing. And I thought, okay, come on, look over your right blind spot. 
and now that car's coming and now you've turned and we're swinging in the road no checks to the right and then the lady you know she's quite patient you're carrying on and then halfway through like near the end you're checking had you done that check earlier that wouldn't have happened that, that fault for that one and do you remember the other point that i had to use the brake and i said don't roll forward at the 40 mile road yeah. why were we rolling forward that was a dangerous fault there mm. yeah you've stopped you're waiting there's traffic and you're waiting for them but you're just rolling and the lady i think it was the passenger i saw the passenger going like this what you doing <laughs> <laughs> so yeah we definitely um shouldn't have rolled forward at that point right did you realize you were rolling yeah i was why and then, i don't know and last thing, I don't know what was going on at this point. This is when I said, okay, we're no, we're no longer following signs. I want you to turn left. And you've signaled, the turn's coming up, you've passed the turn and you're going forward and then there's zigzag lines in front. Were you about to park on those zigzag when, lines? When, because first I, I thought you said pull over Yeah, but even, even if yeah. I said pull over on the left, oh. are we allowed to park on zigzag lines? Well, I, I didn't even notice, I didn't see it. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes a bit of tunnel vision just kicks in. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so how was your mock test experience today? Is this kind of what you expected from today's drive? Probably. All right, guys, that is the end of today's mock test video. Hopefully that video has been useful for you guys as well. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what you think and subscribe if you haven't already. And hopefully we'll find out how Mephis gets on with his lessons and then... Uh, you said you wanted to do another mock test further down the line. Yeah. So we'll hopefully catch up with you in a few months and see how you're getting on. All right. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Uh, bye for now. Bye.